with Sumalata. I'm the Maths teacher of Kakate Public School. Today I'm going to continue the word sums of money topic. Yes, let's do this word sum here. What they give India? Veena bought vegetables for 52 rupees 60 pies. Fruits for 145 rupees 50 pies. And sugar for 30 rupees. How much money did she spend in all? In all nothing but you need to do the addition. Chain, okay. So they have brought the Veena. She bought the three things which are vegetables fruits and sugar and they have given here its cost also we need to we need to find the total amount which he has spent okay come on means total amount means what you need to do ch children here here you need to do the addition come on let's arrange that given some given numbers into the columns and let's write the steps and later we will do the addition come on first steps cost of Vegetables. How much cost of vegetables? Vegetables she brought here for 52 rupees 60 pies. Okay. Next. Cost of fruits. Next items of fruits. Fruits cost is here 145 rupees. 145 rupees 50 pies. Okay. Coming to the sugar here. Cost of sugar. What is the cost of sugar here? 30 rupees. And here paisa is not given. No? So you can take the 0, 0, 0. Wherever you don't have the digits there you can take in the places you can take the 0. Still. So here I am taking 0 and here I am taking and what you need to do this problem? Addition. Come on, let's add this. And what is the final required step is? She spent in all. Therefore, she spent amount in all. Yes, you know? Come on, let's add here. 0 plus 0 plus 0. 0. Now 6 plus 5 plus 0. 6 after 5. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We are getting 6 after 5 means 11. 11 after 0 means again 11 itself. So 11 is two digit number no children. So 1 here I can take and 1 as a cap. Now here, come on let's add this column here. And point should be in order. Which is separating them rupees number and pies number. Now 1 plus 2. 1 after next to 2 numbers. 1 after next to 2 numbers means 2, 3. We are getting 3. 3 after next to 5 numbers. So 3 after next to 5 numbers means 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 3 after next to 5 numbers will be 8. 8 plus 0 is 8 itself. Okay, something plus 0 itself children. Okay, 8 plus 0 is 8 itself. Now 5 plus 4. 5 after next to 4. 5 after 6, 7, 8, 9. So next 4 means 9. 9 after next to 3. So 10, 11, 12. So we are getting here 12. So 12 is 2 digit number now. So 2 here and 1 here. Okay. Now 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. So how much amount she spent in all these 3 items here? She spent the amount is 200 and already it is there now 228 rupees 10 pints. Okay. Come on children. Let's do the next problem here. I will look at it. Santosh bought a pair of shoes worth 
359 rupees 85 means cost of the shoes are 1 359 rupees 85 paise and if he gave a note a 500 rupee note to the shopkeeper how much money should he get back means he given the more amount than the worth of the shoes yes he given the more amount to the shopkeeper than the worth of the shoes means uh, something if he gave if he gave more amount to the shopkeeper surely we will get back the amount so how you will get how you will find the get back the amount children whatever we given to the shopkeeper from that amount we need to subtract the cost of the things which are shoes in this problem okay means we need to do the subtraction of subtract 359 rupees 85 paise from the 500 rupee note okay come on means this is the subtraction children keep in mind children whenever you are finding the get back amount compulsory you need to do the subtraction let's write the steps and let's do the subtraction now first when you are doing the subtraction what you need to take the first number children first always should be the bigger number which is 500 in this problem okay so what you write here Santosh gave amount to the shopkeeper. How much amount he has given here? He has given 500 rupees. And in this we don't have the pi children, so we can keep the point zero zero in the place of pi. And coming to the here next step, cost of a pair of shoes. Let's arrange the numbers in order, children, so it will be easy to write, easy to do the subtraction. Okay. And now what is the cost of the shoes here? Three hundred and. 59 rupees 85 pounds. Okay. Let's apply these numbers. Okay. So we are have a look at this children. 0 minus 5. It is not possible children. So what we need to do here? We need to take the borrow from the big board. But before also we have all zeros. So we can take the borrow from the 5 here. Okay. So if I take the borrow from 5. So 5 will become 4. And here it will become first 10. And later if I am taking the borrow from here, so it will become 9. Okay. Again if here it will be the 10 children. But I require the borrow here now. So again I am passing the borrow here. So it will become the 9. When I pass the borrow second time. And here it will be the first 10. And later if I am passing the borrow from the 10. So it will become the 9. And it will become the 10. Now I require the borrow here. Now 10 minus 5. So 10 minus 5 it is possible children. So here or else you can uh, 10 minus 5 you can do or else you can start counting from 5 to reach the 10. 5 after 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 5 numbers are required to reach the 10. So here I am writing 5. Now 9 minus 8 or else you can start counting from 8 to reach the 9. 8 after 9 only one number I require to reach the 9. So here I am writing 1. And next here 9 minus 9. Same numbers when you are subtracting you will get the 0 children. So 0. And now 9 minus 5. 9 minus 5 or else you can start counting from 5 to reach the 9. 5 after 6, 7, 8, 9. So 4 numbers are required to reach the 9. Here I am writing the 4. Now 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 or else 3 after to come, get the number 4. How much numbers I require? One number I require to reach the 4. So 1. Okay. This is the amount which he will get the back from the shopkeeper. So 140 rupees 15 pies. He will get back the amount. So what is the required step? Therefore, amount which he get back. Yes, see that? Is it clear? Whenever you are finding the get back amount, compulsory you need to do the subtraction.
Yes, children. I hope you understood which I explained in this video, children. Come on, let's do the worksheet with that type of problems. See, a name what? A book for 135 rupees 50 pies. A book for this much cost, children. A notebook for 16 rupees 60 pies. This is a book cost and this is a notebook cost, children. And a pencil box for 25 rupees 25 pies. So that is the cost of pencil box. So what we need to do with this amount here? How much money did he spend in all? Means totally how much money he spent on these three items? He need to, you need to find the total amount. Nothing but you need to do the addition. Means you have to add these three amounts. So you will get the total amount. Means first problem you need to do the addition. Okay. Coming to the second problem here. Charles had 148 rupees with him. Okay, that boy has Charles had this much amount with him. He bought biscuits for 37 rupees 75 pies. Means biscuits to cost is 37 rupees 75 pies. How much money was left with him? After purchasing the biscuits, how much money means? Firstly, he had the more amount than the biscuit cost. Means from this amount he purchased the, means he spent the, some amount for the biscuits. Okay. So, some more amount will be now. So, what will be the left amount you need to find? Nothing but left amount when you are finding or back amount when you are finding, you need to do the subtraction children. Means from the 148 rupees, you need to subtract the 37 rupees 75 pies. Okay.